Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be doing lesson 3.2, Multiplication Facts. We have several vocabulary words uh, today, but most of them should be a review um, as you started learning multiplication facts last year. Um, but let's go ahead and begin. Our first vocabulary word is the word factor. And of course a factor is a digit or digits that we multiply together. And when we multiply the factors together, we come up with our second word, which is product. And our product is an answer to a multiplication problem. And then we also have what's known as multiples. And I'm going to show you in detail what multiples are, but basically it's a list of products uh, from a factor. So let's take a look. Um, this is a multiplication table that is not completely filled in, but you will notice at the top we have a set of numbers, 1 through 10, and on the left side we have a set of numbers 1 through 10. And basically the way the multiplication table works is I'm going to take um, one of the digits or factors on the left side and multiply times a factor on that top row, and then the answer will match up basically when we go across um, the row. So for example, if I took the number 5 and I were going to multiply it times 4, the 5 meets up with row 4 right here. So my answer would be in this box. And of course my answer would be 20. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Now, if I take that off, let's pay attention to um, some of the other things that we have here on the chart. So I, I talked about the factors on both sides. Um, I mentioned multiples in the previous slide, and here if you look down this column of tens, you see the multiples of ten. And if our multiplication chart were filled in, I could look at this chart and give you the multiples of any um, factor. So I could give you the multiples of 9, I could give you the multiples of 6, and so on. So that's how we do multiples. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was square numbers. And I'll give you the definition on the next slide, but a square number is... Um, basically when we multiply a number by itself for example one times one is going to give me one two times two is four so four is a square number nine is a square number because the way that I get that product is multiplying um, the same digit times itself okay all right, so again, square number is a product of a counting number multiplied by itself. And then turnaround facts you've talked about previously, but I just wanted to refresh your memory. Um, sometimes we refer to those as mirror images because basically what we're doing is taking that multiplication fact or whatever type of fact it is and turning it around. So if I have 6 times 3, the turnaround fact would be 3 times 6. If I had 4 times 6, the turnaround fact would be 6 times 4. So basically the reason that we talk about turnaround facts is once you learn um, your multiplication facts, If you, for example, if you know your 2's and you know that 2 times 4 is 8, then you know the turnaround fact. 4 times 2 is also 8. Okay. All right, so we're going to review some multiplication shortcuts. And this symbol that you see right here is also another symbol for multiplication, if you'll remember from the last lesson. Um, I wanted to remind you that 0 times any number is going to give you 0. 1 times any number equals that number. So I could even say 1 million times 1 is going to give me 1 million. Okay, 2 times a number equals double is what I wrote down here. But basically all you're doing is doubling the number. So if I said 2 times 7, that's basically 7 2 times or 7 plus 7. 
Um, 10 times a number, basically all you're going to do is, if you know the once fact, add a zero to the end. So if I had 10 times 12, think of it as 1 times 12, and then put your zero on the end, and you know that it's 120. So that's what we do with our tens facts. Now, in this lesson, you are going to be um, cutting out fact triangles for multiplication and division in the back of your SMJ. And you're going to be practicing your multiplication facts for a while, several weeks, probably a couple semesters at least. We've got the rest of the year. You need to know all of your multiplication facts. So um, basically, as a reminder, I just put these on here to show you how to use the multiplication uh, fact triangle. So in the middle of the triangle, you have the multiplication symbol, you have a comma, and then you have that slash, which if you will recall, that stands for division. So we can use these cards for both multiplication and division. Um, at the top, if I covered up one of the digits on my triangle with my thumb, so let's say that I covered up the 3, um, then I'm going to do 6 divided by 2. And then if I take my thumb off the 3, then I would see that 6 divided by 2 would be 3. If I covered up the 6, then I'm going to do my multiplication fact, which is 2 times 3. And what I forgot to put here, well, let me get my marker to work here is you should see a dot, which for some reason this is not letting, there we go, wasn't letting me put it on there. Um, you'll have a dot at the top of your triangle, and when you're multiplying, that's the number that you're going to cover up with your thumb. Um, so there would be a dot here as well. So that way you know um, if you're multiplying or dividing. Um, so basically, you can use this same fact triangle to do 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. You can do it 6 divided by 2 would give me 3, or 6 divided by 3 is going to give me 2. So whatever digit that I have covered up is going to be the answer to my problem. If I look at the second triangle, I can do, uh, cover up the 42, and I would have 6 times 7 equals 42, or the turnaround fact, 7 times 6 equals 42. And then when I'm ready for division, I can cover up the 6 and do 42 divided by 7 equals 6, or I can cover up the 7 and do 42 divided by 6 equals 7. So again, you're going to be cutting out those cards in class. So you're going to practice, practice, practice your facts and you need to know those. So to summarize um, what we've done today, we've reviewed uh, quite a bit actually, reviewed products, factors, square numbers and multiples. We talked about some shortcuts for some of the multiplication facts and we talked about fact triangles. You will also be playing uh, Name That Number this week, which I did not put directions on here because I've already done that in a previous video. So hopefully you will remember how to play that. If you don't, you can always reference your SRB and find those directions to do so. Thanks for watching.